LeeCamp.net. Recently, the abortion birth control debate has bubbled to the top again, and let's call it what it actually is. It's not an attack on women. It's a defense of the absolute holy power of men. Grandiose, douche-faced, Quasimodo-looking motherfuckers are worried that they don't have control over women anymore. They're worried about the idea of a woman with her lesser intellectual faculties making choices about her own body. And if a woman's not subservient to her man, then that means we aren't living in the 1950s anymore, which is secretly where these guys want to be because women did what they were told and black people didn't talk to you and you weren't supposed to respect Arabs as if they were human beings and you could even steal a simple primary election without people getting their panties all in a bunch and acting like all the votes should be counted. Mitt, I'm looking in your direction and a lot of those people who want those votes counted, fucking women. Recently some of the GOP have been talking about how 90% of Planned Parenthood's funding goes to abortion and the truth is that's a lot of fucking abortion. That's like aborting, like, everybody. It's too bad those congressmen were only off by 87 points with that number. It's 3%. 3% of their funding goes to abortion. That's a lot wrong. I mean, to be that wrong, you have to be unfamiliar with numbers of any sort. That's like confusing the number 36 with a spoon. That's like confusing your multiplication tables with real tables. You remember in third grade math class when that one kid answered every question by picking his nose and then sticking it in his ear? That's the level these people are at. And besides, imagine if women had legal control over any aspect of the male anatomy. Imagine if a congress of 80% women voted that all men had to be circumcised or have a vasectomy or could only come twice a year. How long would that last before there was a massive civil war with thousands of deaths ending in the president signing the ejaculation proclamation? But male power is just the real reason these men are upset. Let's spend some time addressing the stupid bullshit reason they're upset. They want to claim it's about religion, about the sanctity of life. And 95% of the time, these are the same people who are ready to drop a bomb at the drop of a hat. They'll blow up endless numbers of children and babies in Afghanistan, Vietnam, Korea, and Iraq. They'll abort millions the world over in the name of oil with defense as the pretense. Millions that are not minuscule eggs or bundles of cells. These people have names and clothing and likes and dislikes. And one of their biggest dislikes? being bombed. Furthermore, if you're so pro-life, if life is a gift from the Almighty, if it's incredible and awe-inspiring, then how about standing up against factory farms? Millions of living, breathing creatures with the IQ of a three-year-old human are slammed together in cages no bigger than their bodies. Do you love all of God's creatures? What about the ones you torture and pump full of more chemicals than Sylvester Stallone's face? When all the wars have ended and the Republicans don't flip out at the idea of decreasing our nuclear arsenal and all the factory farms are stopped, then, and only then, will I take your love of life seriously. Until then, this is just a bunch of unevolved men making sure they maintain some power over the broads. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Stand up for women's rights, alright? Let's not go back 70 years all of a sudden. I know time machines sound cool, but unless it involves Marty McFly, I don't want anything to do with it. Also, check out the Moment of Clarity ebook. It's only $7.95. It's available on iPad, Kindle, Nook, all those other little gadgets people own. Get it at LeeCamp.net or uh, other places ebooks are sold. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.